Hello everyone and thanks for watching. My name is Karen. I am working for Siemens Mobility. Today we are talking about a very prominent topic, digitalization. My life wouldn't be the same without it. And there are so many use cases where digitalization comes into play. Today we are talking about it in relation to mobility. That's why I invited three experts who know a lot about mobility and digitalization. That is Daniel Hobo, Head of Digital and Customer Services. That is Stefan Ruvel, Mindsphere Architect. And that is David Borst, Mindsphere Application Manager. They are all from Intelligent Traffic Systems at Siemens. Daniel, we are all talking about Siemens mobility in connection with Internet of Things, digitalization and data. Now at Siemens we are also talking about Mindsphere. What does it mean? Is everything connected? What is the story behind it? Please give us, give us a brief insight. Sure, Karen. We live in the age of digitalization. Okay, imagine every asset is or will be connected. Asset meaning street lights, traffic lights, maybe cars, trams, everything. And these assets create data, they create value. Now, first of all, the really interesting thing about it for us as Siemens is, Siemens is active in many, many different businesses, be it like power plants, healthcare, building technologies. And all of these create Internet of Things devices, if you wish, endpoints, if you wish. Now, bringing all this together means we as a company, we have a great expertise, knowledge, know-how, to create what we call a universe, an ecosystem. And we call this ecosystem Mindsphere. Stefan, what does it mean for the mobility customer? Of course, also our road traffic customers should be part of this digital ecosystem which is called Mindsphere. Because it's crucial to share and have the right data to solve the problems and make the right decisions in the future. By the way, IT security is a prerequisite in this ecosystem because otherwise digitalization wouldn't make sense. That means connecting traffic management systems, tunnels, other systems and devices is the right way to start the mobility and to share data in a safe way. David, do you have an example for us? When you visit our stand at the ITS Digital Lab with Siemens, we will show you some fantastic examples of how we are making this a reality. For example, we are using artificial intelligence to guarantee that our e-bike sharing system in Lisbon is always balanced in an optimal way. So if you want to take a bike for a ride, we ensure there's always one available. This is achieved by predicting the number of bikes for each station so an operator can rebalance his network proactively. Also, in addition to that, we can show you some fascinating examples how we use artificial intelligence to improve traffic control. So if you want to find out what we can do with your data, join us at InterTraffic. Thanks a lot, David, Stefan, Daniel, for the insights on Mindsphere and digitalization in connection to mobility. Thanks for watching and don't forget to find out even more on Facebook, YouTube or Twitter and always keep in mind to follow, share and like us. Thanks a lot and have a great day.